The future actor was born in one of the suburbs of Paris. The family was quite well to do. His father owned a small cinema. His mother worked in a pharmacy later she moved to work for her husband. The head of the family often boasted that he belonged to an old aristocratic family and was a descendant of Napoleon Bonaparte himself. So it was in fact or not, it is not known. But the newborn son, his mother called no other name than the little emperor and literally blew dust from him. Napoleon's heir began to show his character from nappies, biting, insistently shouted, demanding attention from adults. And sometimes he could hit with a toy clenched in his tiny fist. When little Alan was three years old, his parents separated. They each had their own families. His mother married a butcher and kept the baby. But she had no time to bring up her young son. The shop was right in the house and the new mistress worked there as a saleswoman while her husband butchered carcasses. The baby was looked after by a nanny, but she didn't last long. The woman ran away in terror when the little one bit her hand. The boy was then given to a nurse who lived nearby. Her husband worked as a prison guard, and the institution was a stone's throw from the house. Little Alan observed a lot of how the guards treated the prisoners, and these childhood impressions remained with him for the rest of his life. He has disliked law enforcement ever since. Later, the family had a new addition to the family, Mum Elena gave birth to a baby girl. The boy treated his little sister with great care, but at the same time he felt more and more like an outcast. His mother had no time for him. The native father in the new family also had other children. Remembering his unhappy early years, Alan compared himself to a hedgehog bristling with thorns. When it was time to go to school, the boy was put in a boarding school. But in the educational institution he lasted three months, expelled for bad behavior. The story was repeated the next time. As a result, he changed three schools during his first year. The boy grew up and became uncontrollable. He behaved perfectly at home, he mastered the piano and enjoyed taking care of his little sister. The boy was taken for re-education by his own father, but unable to cope with his son, quickly got rid of him, gave him to a boarding school at the monastery. Alan excelled in the church choir, he was easily given to maths. But one day he ran away from the boarding school to the seaport. He wanted to get on a ship going to the USA. But instead of America, he ended up in the local police station. Then his stepfather took the difficult boy seriously. The man decided to involve him in the family business and sent him to the Union of Meat Processing Industry Workers for training. And surprisingly, it worked. Alan dashingly learned to cut meat carcasses and would surely become a professional in this field. But just before he got his diploma, he was accused of forging grades and stealing a stamp. He tried different butcher shops, but everywhere he was pointed at the door. Relationships in the family became unbearable. Once in the underground, Delon saw an advert for test pilots to train in Canada. The guy got excited about the idea, but it turned out that the recruitment to the flight school was completed. But in the soldiers needed the French army, offering recruits solid at the time of the fee. So the future legend of world cinema got to the war in Indochina in the ranks of parachute troops. Alan was delighted. Here it is, a chance to prove himself and serve his country, sincerely thought he. He took part in battles several times and almost died. Serving in the army turned out to be a good school of life for an unruly young man. But even in the army, the future actor still showed his character. Arguing with his superiors, he was not a fool to drink. And once even stole a car, went on it to his girlfriend, but on the way crashed into a tree. For stealing a car and property damage Elon arrested. Alan managed to find adventures on his head even on the way home. When he was discharged, he bought a revolver illegally. The seller reported the young buyer to the authorities. And when Delon arrived in Marseille, in the port of his open arms took him with open arms police detachment. After serving a month and a half, the young man went to the French capital and got a job as a waiter at the restaurant Coliseum on the Champs Elysees. The money he earned was barely enough to eat and pay the rent. But it was here that the fateful meeting of Delon with the actress Brigitte Warburg took place. Film Diva immediately noticed the searing brunette with a piercing look of blue eyes and was very surprised that such a handsome man was a simple waiter. Soon Alain Delon moved into the luxurious apartments of the film star. It was Brigitte Warburg who 
brought the young man into the public eye. The actress took him to the Cannes Film Festival and introduced him to her entourage. The atmosphere of the festival turned the young handsome man's head. He suddenly decided to become an actor and achieve world fame. Well, self-confidence and natural charm he was not occupy. In Cannes, he met with Hollywood impresario Harry Wilson, who was shocked by the similarity of the young man with the actor James Dean and promised to work in America. Profitable cooperation offered and French director Eve Allegre, shooting in the crime drama When a Woman Interferes. Delon eventually preferred to stay in his homeland and the film Allegre became his debut. On the young promising actor began to talk seriously after the release of Detective René Clemon in The Bright Sun. In this film, Delon demonstrated a very bright and deep game. And then he met with Italian director Lucchino Visconti. Rude with bad manners and bad character Italian in a matter of years turned into a social lion and a fine connoisseur of world art. Delon began to dress in style, acquired a luxurious mansion, had horses, began to collect antique weapons. For shooting in the film he received up to 20 million francs, a large fee for that time. Fame, success, wealth, beautiful women around, the actor achieved everything he could only dream of. Today, Alain Delon is a living legend of cinema. Without professional acting education, thanks to his luck and natural charm, he was able to rise to the very top. And the details of his successful film career and the legends of his love affairs are worthy of a separate large podcast.